Good day, students. Welcome to another week of Web Design and Development 2, which is CMP244. So this is week 2, and this is our course outline for week 2. This week 2, we are going to go to Introduction to HTML. And under this, we should be able to, at the end of this, students should be able to define what HTML is, should be able to give HTML structure, element, tags, and attributes, should be able to have the right different tags, elements in the tags, and what attribute is. A student should be able to create a simple basic HTML document. Then a student should be able to set up a working environment for HTML documents. Then the student should be able to do text formatting with HTML at the end of this class. So let's go straight into the first thing, which is definition of HTML. Let me put it on the slideshow so that each student should be able to view it very well. So let's see the first thing here we said definition. HTML, as you know from our first class in week one, we said it stands for what hypertext markup language. And I told you it's not a programming language. Like you see here, it's a markup language. It's a, it is the standard markup language you can see, used to create and structure content on the World Wide Web. So HTML provides a set of elements and tags that define the structure of a web page. And we have different elements inside tags, different stuff. So we can have our text, we can have image, paragraph, heading, multimedia, different elements and a tag. So as we go on, we are going to see a tag, what a tag is, what an element is, and what is an attribute. So let's look at this. This is elements, tags, and attributes. In the previous slide, I mentioned tags, elements, and attributes. So here, let's look at the structure of HTML. It contains elements, tags, and attributes. What is an element? So an element is the building block of a web page. And elements are being enclosed in angle brackets. You can see it here. We have angle brackets. And most elements comes in pair. Here we have the opening angle brackets and we're also going to have a closing angle brackets for example you can see it here you see the angle brackets and here you can see the closing angle brackets to show you it comes in here this is an element inside the angle bracket and this is an element here the closing angle bracket always comes with a backward slash you can see it the backward slash so let's look at tax this is an element i mean so this is an element this p is, a, is an element this p is an element inside a tag so this is our tag you can see this is a, what we call tag this opening tag and our closing tag always come with this backward slash let's look at its tags html tags are used to enclose and define elements so you can see there is an element inside this tag there is an element inside the tag this shows this is the opening tag and this one is shows that it is a closing tag with p elements in the tag now attributes some elements have attributes it's not all elements that have attributes some elements have attributes and this attribute is to provide additional information about that element, element or sometimes to modify the behavior of the elements and elements or an attribute is also enclosed within the opening tag that we have you know we said we have tag which is usually represented using this less than uh, greater than sign so our element comes inside this tag then attribute is just to give more information of that element let's look at this example in image this img signifies image and this is what we call the image tag look at it the tag is 
its sign is greater than width less than here the image is the element then this source is the attribute because the source is telling us more about this image elements the source which serves as the attribute gives more information about the image element here source signifies that where is the information in your system where is the image residing in your system so the image or what is the name of the image that you want to use because you can have different images in your system or in your computer so what is the name of the image you need to use so this signifies image then this alt which is alternative is also an attribute that tells us maybe if you are not seeing this image what she shows then if this image is not showing there should be alternative and this alternative is to show description so here the source attributes specify the image source and the alt attributes provide alternative text if for example the image is not showing so what should be the things that we should, thing that we show so a description will show them so we can see what an element is what is a tag and what is an attribute in our html structure in as time goes on these are things that will be using these are things that will be mentioning so get it right now in your head elements are the building block of what page and they are enclosed in angle brackets you can see it this p is an element then a tag is this angle brackets that you can see attributes add more information about an element so here we have a code snippet of a basic html document what a basic html document always look like here you can see the doc type and this doc type is it's defined it's just like a declaration we call this declaration type one thing you should notice is that html is not case sensitive place is not case sensitive unlike some programming languages that are case sensitive html is not case sensitive it doesn't when i say case sensitive if i use html small letter i can also use html capital letter so it's not case sensitive making you the bargain easy making your work very easy so let's look at this basic structure here you can see please a student each student should try and put this in their system and see the outcome of what they are going to have so here which is doc type html define the document type and version of html we are using like i said in our first class we have different version of html so for this class we are going to be using html5 which is the latest version of html we are having in our 100 level we use the normal html html 2.3.0 eh, well here we should be using html5 for all our practical aspects and all the code snippets i'll be showing will have to do with html5 so let's look at it for here so let's look at it it defined the document type that is doc type then the next thing you can see is an opening tag and this tag contains elements and the element is html and this html is the root element that contains all other html elements on the page you can see it is the root element html which is the opening tag and everything here reside inside this html tag you can see the closing tag for each tag like i said the other time must have a closing tag html opening and this is the closing tag at the end please try and copy this inside your system and try and do the practical then here we have even if you do not roll in it just type it it will make you get familiar with how to write a web write an html page a html page so here you can see the head tag this is the opening for the head tag and this is the closing for the head tag and what is the use of this head tag this the section it is the section where our metadata and links to resources are place you can see metadata when i said metadata is a data or metadata tells almost more about the page it says this was more information about the page 
you can see head opening tag and this there's a closing tag with a forward slash and you can see meta cassettes all what will reside in between this tag of head will not be shown will not be displayed on your web browser it will not be displayed on your web browser here also we have a title inside our head tag then here a meta cassettes that you are doing some students will ask what is the use of this meta character sets this car you're seeing is character it specify the character encoding for the documents utf is widely used for international character supports here we are having international character support it's then the title sets the title of the web page and it is mostly display in the browser title bar or tab you can call it the title bar or tab. you can see a title bar the browser then this is what the information that will be displayed as time goes on we are going to see how all these things works now the body tag you can see it is opening i told for each tag in most cases we have the opening and closing tag for the body see the opening and this is the closing with a backward slash so whatsoever you want it to be rendered to the user will go in between this body tag please note the structure the root element is html everything resides inside this root element then we have the head which is the next thing and in between this head these things whatsoever you have here will not be displayed to the user then the body tag the body tag is the main content area of the web page is the main content area of the web page where text images elements everything you need to be displayed to the user will be placed look at here we have h1 which is the heading is a tag we have a element called h1 inside the tag this element p and each tag i told you we have a closing tag this is where it's closed p elements this is where the tag is closed then we have a link which also have its closing tag somewhere here so this is the main thing all these h1 p the a element are example of h element this is used for heading this is used for paragraph and this is used for link respectively so this is the basic of html documents i told you note this html is the root element so whatever you're doing will reside within this root element you can see the opening and the closing tag so i have already explained the basic structure of a web page using html the other time we did it using html here we can also have html5 page structure here looking at this here html5 the same thing we have html head you can see it and here you can see more additional metadata like we can see the meta car sets that we have in the other one meta name more additional information about this web page and the title you can see the head then you can also see the body in html5 which is what we are using that's why i brought this in html5 the page are being structured very well whereby we have more elements like i told you from the version i said html5 contains more elements new elements have been introduced unlike this html 3.0 here you can see just the head then the body here you can see in the body section we can have our header which specify these things everything here should be inside a header it has an opening and closing tag then we have our navigation where we navigate the website all this link everything all these things will be explained as time goes on but i urge and advise the students to copy this just to get them familiar with how to type a single tags element in html in this html code snippets you can see the basic structure of a web page which include what the html of h that's why i said html5 basic structure in html5 these are the basic structure we have 
the head, the body section, we have nerve, we have footer, we have H1, and so on and so forth. So you can see the output in the next slide. Now, first leg, this is the output. Welcome to my website, which is the first paragraph. So here, this home you are seeing about services contacts, you can see it has been on the line and it's blue color. Why is it been on the line and it's blue color? This is what happens here. You already set this to be your header, and in header, this is H1, that's why that text is bold. Welcome. This nav navigation, this is specifies that it's a link that you can click on it and it will take you to, and that blue color shows that it's a link using this AH ref. So we can, you as a student can also try this and see how it's going to come out even though we've not set our environment so let's go straight into setting up a working environment students most students will be confused now so where will i get this thing will i just start typing in microsoft word and get this thing done why is it that her screen that she's showing the work it looks so black it's a black team all these things i know it should be running in most students head so let's look at setting up an environment so you're going to get this from how do we set an environment so here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up a basic web development environment alongside with description and the required tools and software that you need the first step here i said you have to install a text editor or integrated development environment. Text editor or integrated development environment. Every tech, every computer system always come with a text editor. It always comes with what we call a text editor. It always comes with what we call a text editor, which is our simple notepad notepad but we now have different text editors here we can have tools you can choose from various text editors or integrated text code environments different text editor like sublime text editor we have a uh, visual studio which is an ide we have the jet brain we have the atom and so on and so forth all these are text editors which you can install inside your system and if you don't want to install any of this, you can use the basic text editor, which is the simple notes part that comes along with your system. Then the next thing is to install a web browser because a web browser will, be able, will help us to visualize what is being written inside the text editor. And we already know what a browser web browser is from our previous class. And we have different web browser like Mozilla, Firefox, Microsoft Edge or Paramini and so on and so forth. All these are web browsers. So in my own case, I am using the Visual Studio Code Editor. And this Visual Studio Code Editor, Code Editor, I will be showing it in the next slide. I'll be showing it in the next slide here. So in our next slide, you can see a screenshot of development environments. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code Editor for my own. Here you can see this is where what it looks like. So here you can come to file here to start a new page, or you can even come to start. You can see it's you can start a new file here. So when you click on a new file it brings you here which is the next thing you can see here here it's a blank space you can see it's black a blank space and after getting to this place you can start typing all your code and after you've done the typing you come here file you see a drop down list that says you should save as so you save as because this is html document you should always save as ht ML. please don't forget save as html if you save as html that's when you will be able to run your system so all the steps we said we 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 
showed in our previous slide are just general steps for setting up a web development environment. The specific tools and software you need may differ depending on your project requirement and programming language framework you plan to use. So it depends on what you want to do, but this is just the basic things that you need to set up your web environment. So um, text formatting with HTML, we've seen a single HTML page, how it looks like. Then we also have formatting with HTML page. You can make your text bold, you can make your text e click, you can underline, you can make emphasis strong and so on and so forth. All this will be discussed as we go on in some other week. So let's look at uh, how to use our computer. Before we go, before I end this, I want to show us how to use this computer for a single web page, applic uh, web application, um, to open a notepad on your system. To open a notepad, please, you can come here and type what we call notepad. You can type it here, notepad. I hope you can see my screen notes patch you can see it here i'll come and click on notes part if i click on notes part do you see what you see here you can see there is a screen that came up on title notes part so before i can start writing my html html i told you for every opening tag it must have a closing tag html HTML then I can have my header you can have my head also with closing head I told you what the head is used for is just for meta data telling us more about the page this is the roots element, so you can bring it here. For good structuring, you can create tabs in between each tags to show the roots, the head, and so on and so forth, like that. So I can have my title here. Like I said, HTML is not case sensitive. You can see I started with small letter and now have turned to capital later i can have my first page my first web page that's what i want is to show at the title bar then yeah i want to create my body which is what will be rendered to the user from the browser my body tag so inside my body tag i want to have a paragraph to have a paragraph that elements please note the way this all these things are being structured now let's assume you want to save you come to file and save us this is a basic notepad that we're using that's why you're not seeing those colors here if i'm saving i have to save it let's say on seven and desktop you must have a specific place you want to save your work now saving it on the desktop you see i click on desktop here and here we let's you can save it with anything you want but make sure you type dot html at the end let's say we are saving it with first and it's going to be dot html 
Then here under, you can see save as. Under the save as, you come here and choose all files. Then you save. Note the name for you to be able to open it on a browser. Immediately we save this first as HTML because it's an HTML page. The system should be able to recognize it and change it to a browser symbol. Let's save. We've saved it. Now let's go back to our deck. You can see it. It changes to a browser, which is Edge here. Then I should be able to click it and see the output of what I have in my. So I can even change the browser. I can decide to use Google Chrome if I don't want to use Edge. I'm using Google Chrome, so it's loading. Let's see what we have on our first web page. After it's load, we should be able to see what we have on our first web page. Yeah, it's not showing. Let's see what happened. Why is not showing? These are issues that you need to look for when you are not having a complete web page showing. Okay it takes time it's very slow that's why so you can see from this page this is a paragraph it's only what was inside this body tag that you can see on the web page then this title shows at the title bar my first web page so i think we should end our class here thank you for listening and may god bless everyone